Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm gonna to be breaking down my $1,932 gain on AMD. I took two trades on AMD, but to talk about the magnitude of this setup as a day trade, we need to go back and look at the history of the stock over the past couple of days. You know, what led me to take this trade with so much conviction? So going back two days ago, AMD had this larger rally move up Following this rally move up, you would expect to see some sort of continuation, right? We get the exact opposite yesterday. We get no continuation topside and in fact get a stronger sell down to the bottom side. And a real, I mean, this is a pretty aggressive sell. Um, dropping percentage-wise 3.5% before any sort of relief rally or anything like that, okay? So big rally up, that rally gets sold. This morning, what do we have happen? We have a gap up on AMD due to CPI data with, with the overall market. So if we just go to the flex grid, you look at something like SPY. SPY had gapped up something like Meta, right? Meta had gapped up. Tesla, Tesla had gapped up. A lot of stocks gapped up with, uh, with the CPI report this morning. So my thought process going into today was, well, if AMD had a large run and it couldn't sustain that run, then this morning when we get this larger gap up, it's probably not going to sustain that gap up either. When you get gap up days or gap down days, one of the first things that you look at is the previous day's closing price because the PDC will tend to act as a point of support and resistance. Not always, not always, but sometimes. There's a strategy that revolves around using the previous day's closing price known as green to red moves and red to green moves. If you don't know what that is, I cover it in my masterclass series, but AMD today was what is known as a green to red move on the break of the previous day's closing price. So let's go over to the day trade watch list. Watch list for today, AMD was a short idea here below $94. Why 94? Well, 94 is right here where the previous day's close is at, right? That's going to be that green line. Previous day's close just going off of the price where the stock closed at the day prior. Gapping up above that, looking for the break below that means we're going to, off of the day trade watch list, short below that. So short below 94 at the PDC. So let's draw ourselves a trend line right at 94. So this morning, opening, I'm going to move to the one minute time frame, opening sell off, and then a little bit of a rally. This is important because this little bit of a rally did not rally back up to the high of day and in fact put in a lower high and then continued down into the low of day. So this is key, right? Because this is almost a pattern itself. I know it's very insignificant, it's very minor, but it looks like a minor, like a mini uh, bear flag pattern that's breaking down, which is what? A bearish continuation pattern. So we get the break down into the low of day following the lower high following the fact that AMD had gapped up, and then we get the break of the previous day's close. So all of those things are working for us as confirmations right now. And we know in the back of our mind that AMD had that larger rally two days prior and yesterday sold off aggressively. So keeping that in our mind, AMD breaks below the previous day's close. We get a rally back up to that PDC at 9.36 a.m. So we're going to go into the alert room and I'm time stamping all of these alerts. I said loaded AMD short at 9.34 a.m. Before the move even happens, I'm giving you the, sh the put contracts because I'm already looking at this right on this minute, right? 9.33, 9.34. I'm already looking at this and I'm like, yeah, this is breaking down. Let me go ahead and prep to take this short. And that's what this message is, right? No position yet. I just loaded it. Get it active in my, get it loaded in my active trader. Get ready to press buy. Two minutes later, 9.36 a.m., took AMD short. So I give you the contracts, I give you the fill price, I give you the stop loss, okay? 9.36 a.m., again, give you the contracts, give you the fill price, give you the stop loss. We're green on this position right away. I entered at the top of this candle as close to the previous day's close as possible. We're green right away. And from here, it's just managing the position on the way down. Um, so I give you, you know, hey, we're up over 10%. We're up over 20%. We're now at 25%. 9.40 a.m., we're up close to 30%. That's right here. 9.39, 9.40, up close to 30%. I wound up selling the majority of my position at a 30% gain. Held through because I felt like 
potentially it could continue down. Or if it did rally back up, I was ready to add into that position. Never rallied back up, continued to fall. And a few moments later, now up 40%, AMD short 1.54 fill, now at 220, all the way out, $1,830 gain right here. Now, did I miss off miss out on some of the profits down to the bottom side? Sure. Um, am I mad about that? No, no, not at all. I'm totally fine with the profits that I made. Now, I know that this trade happened fairly quickly, even though I did give you the contracts and the trade idea prior to it even breaking down, some of you still managed to miss this trade. And that's okay, right? If you're waiting for that, if you're waiting for this to drop even further and then give you the pullback and you never get the pullback and you miss the trade, that's okay. Uh, you'd rather be safe than sorry, but don't give up on the trade idea because later on, let me zoom out a little bit. Later on, we do get that rally back up to and pretty close to $94. I mean, we're about 25 cents off right here, right? So what, what do I do? I, initially, I called it a day, but I saw that rally happen. I'm like, this looks too good to, to not take, right? To not try this again. Um, so I said, I'm actually going to take this trade. I, I tell you at 1013, watch AMD on this rally for a potential short idea. You can use the previous day's close, 94, as a stop loss. Give you the same contracts, AMD short, and then I take my uh, entry at 1015, 1.75 fill with a stop loss at 94. I sized down on this trade because I took the entry over here. I sized down because I wanted to add into this position on the way up close to 94. So I did have an add order placed slightly above where this peak was, never got filled on that add order, uh, but we did eventually get the curl over on AMD and the run back down um, for about a 14% gain. I said AMD, we're up close to 10%. Sell target placed at 2.0 at 1034. 10.35, I mention it again, we're up over 10%. You could take your profits if you like. And then one minute later, we're now at 14%. Now 2.0 from 1.75. I closed it there. Never got to add into this position like I wanted. So I think I made about $150 extra on this drop over here. Again, not that much. I was looking to make around, you know, three to 400 would have been nice, but um, uh still happy, still overly happy with the gains from today. Anytime you get the aggressive sell like this, right? And there's there's virtually no pullback. I mean, even on the one minute time frame, virtually no pullback here. Don't give up on the trade if you miss it. Always look for the 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 rally back up to take it short because because this sell is so aggressive on any sort of rally, especially with a strong resistance point like the previous day's close, on any sort of rally, the chances are higher of it pulling back, of it selling back off, of that rally selling back off because so many traders are sitting on the sidelines here just like you missing this trade and they're thinking, man, I, I want to get in on this. Let me wait for the rally to get in on it at and where's a good place to enter? Close to the PDC up here. So a little bit of market psychology tied in there. Um, this is really good stuff. Watch this video again if you have to. Take notes because I mentioned a couple of things that is course quality content. You know, I talk about the green to red moves, red to green moves. I talk about, you know, what to look for on gap up days and gap down days. We're using prior price action history to gauge what could potentially happen on, on a day like today where we have a similar setup, you know, the kind of up gapper setup. So, a lot of good information in this video. Press the like button for me if you've enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. I hope it helped and I will see you all in chat. Take care.